Mount Hood uh, is such an icon for the Pacific Northwest and for our county. Um, I think uh, it, it is a, as a volcano that has only erupted 200 years ago, uh, just before the Lewis and Clark expedition came through, in fact. Um, it's, it's still something that many people have no idea that it's, one, it's a volcano, and two, that it, it's, it's a low level of, of activity that's going on there. Um, I think it's something that people tend to dismiss when we have s small earthquakes, um, or if they learn that, uh, you know, perhaps that there's um, other hazards around the volcano that are associated with uh, volcanology. Um, it's, it's really, uh, the burden is on people like me to bring the science to them and translate it uh, for for them to be able to make important decisions uh, if there is an emergency, rather than um, you know basically trying to figure it all out at the last minute. It's very important for the scientists who are the authorities on uh, volcanology and how complicated all of that information can be to distill it down into very simple, um, just very simple facts, but also uh, actionable items, both to understand the hazard before something happens and then to be able to translate uh, what might be a course of action for emergency officials, for elected officials who have the responsibility for public safety. Um, I think uh, so many of these decisions have to be made with a great deal of uncertainty about what's actually going to take place. But if you have a relationship of trust that's been established before an event happens, um, I think it makes it a lot better um, when the person who has the burden of public safety uh, knows who they're talking to and uh, there, there's a sense of uh, collaboration uh, in working through an, uh, an issue like that.